show i am the host overseer estelle today our guest is a dance teacher from detroit board of education welcome tammy booth low thank you for having me miss estelle i am so happy to be here amen amen tammy we attended mary grove together oh my god we're not gonna talk about how many years but it's back in the 80s <laughs> yes 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 absolutely. oh and and you were a dance major as I was a respiratory therapist, majoring in right. respiratory. So it's two different entity, but I had a mother that's like, oh, I'm not paying for another dance class. And then my life changed after I got pregnant. So um, what motivated you to study dance at Mary Grove College in De located in the Detroit area? Okay, what happened to me, my mother, she loved dance. I will never forget this. I was seven years old watching Soul Train. And I was dancing and dancing and doing all that and that. And I guess my mom was looking at me and I guess she said, wait a minute, she's dancing a little bit too tough now, right? <laughs> so then my mom came to me and she said, do you want to um, study dance and take dance lessons? I remember this uh, until I was seven years old. I looked back at her and I said, I know how to dance. <laughs> and she said, no, 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 no. We're going to learn the proper way to dance, the proper way like a young lady. And that's when she uh, enrolled me. And uh, it was called Fortuna School of Dance way back in the 70s. And I studied tap, modern tap and baton twirling. And I just fell in love with dance ever since then. I thank God for my mom because um, I tell my students that now you're learning the proper way to dance. So that was my mom and that was my motivation. And that's when I began dance, seven years old. So how long have you been a dance instructor at the Detroit um, Board of Education? Well, I graduated from Maryville College back in 93, yeah, nine, uh, 93. And while I was in college, in uh, 1990, I studied at Winnie School of Dance while I was in college. And that was an excellent experience for me, too. So I started at the age of about 21, 22. I was working at her studio. And then I graduated. And um, after graduation, I went on a roll with Rita Franklin. Now, it was very short-lived. I was a background dancer with her for a couple of months. And then once again, my parents called me and said, hey, you know, this touring stuff is nice and you're having fun, but it's there's no security in it. Um, you need something for yourself. So I, I come back home and I went back home and I got my master's. And then um, I started teaching dance in 95 with the Detroit Board of Education. And I've been there ever since. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So your master's, is it in, what was the, you, you got a master's in education or what is yes. your master's? Okay. Yeah, yeah, my bachelor's my bachelor's have a BFA degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in dance, and then my master's degree is in education, but my concentration was in reading. So re reading was my, my next love. So that was my concentration. And see, a lot of dancers don't understand that when you right. need you in dance, you need an education behind it Absolutely. to teach. And that's your backup plan. Because my mother yes. was like, the biggest thing for her, because she didn't want me to study dance at Mary Grove. She wanted me to focus on my respiratory. And I've been a respiratory therapist over 30 years. Um, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Went to school pregnant, because I got pregnant at Mary Grove and went to school pregnant, Holy Ghost, and finished the, the, um, the program pregnant. But her okay. biggest thing was dance. You, you need a backup. You need you. Yes. Need you, in other words, you, you need a trump card. Absolutely. And so she was like, you ain't going to be able to get a job, okay? And mm -hmm. she explained it to me. So it, was, it wasn't it was discouraging. She said, well, put it this way. I'll pay for your respiratory, and you go back and do whatever you want. I just right. need to have a job. So as, as she continued to pay for my classes for respiratory, but I got pregnant. Okay. And when I got pregnant, my life changed. I just focused on respiratory and not... Mm -hmm dance so it, it changed graduate right. and my son is in his he's 34 now so it's, it's oh a my God. Yeah. i'm an old woman Time but goes my, by fast. yes yes but at marygrove who looking at the instructors who was your favorite instructor 
Madam Penny Godboldo. Oh, yeah. uh, she was my, my uh, she was my my mentor, my uh, modern dance teacher, and she guided me and led me through. And she was very encouraging. Um, taught us how to be responsible. Taught us how to get that degree, how to maintain the degree, and what to do with your degree. And I'm um, also too. I tell people this too. Any, in my opinion, on any arts, you know, whether whether it's music, dance, drama, visual arts, whatever, you need a degree in an art because if not, in my opinion, you'll be a struggling artist. And yeah. You don't want to struggle, and you don't want to struggle. So you need a degree. A, a degree can help you teach dance and open up your own studio, things like that, which I've done, and things like that. That degree can go a long way with you, a long way. Hallelujah, Lord. And yes. And Mary Grove Penny was over the dance department. Yes. Really one of the first African American women to be over yes. the department at a Catholic school. Because Mary yes. Grove was a Catholic school. So it was a blessing to see someone African American mentoring women and men. Amen. And yes. my thing is I didn't study under Penny when I was at Mary Grove as a student, but she became a mentor later down in life but Lasker, Lasker, the ballet teacher who was well connected who brought the nutcracker every year he yeah. uh, he was my favorite he you okay. know he's, he's from russia and he was right. some of the stories of how he studied and how he would get beaten if he didn't know how to plie right and tandu right so he was his stories was amazing and then he had an academy a school outside of Marygrove where oh, yeah. when when he did the um ballet you know mm -hmm. um he he flew in dancers from around the world which was amazing so what? if we, uh, we had a chance if you attended Marygrove to dance um in the nutcracker you did something if you wanted to um right. he'll put everybody in position them we study study and dance dance and so tried out for different parts it was amazing i loved it I love it. Right. So, right. but Mary Grove, it blessed so many people. It, it did. It, it did. It was, was a, it was an excellent liberal arts college. I loved it. You know, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that they're closed and they closed about four years ago, but that was my, my college I meant where I received both of my degrees. I'm so happy that I received a, a degree from, from there. It's a high school now, but yeah, so, um, yeah. but, um, it was a wonderful college. It truly was. So you have an academy, a dance yes. academy. Booth Dance Academy. What motivated you to open up your own dance academy? And tell us about the name behind the academy. Right. It was my best friend. Uh, never, um, my best friend, whole world, Don. My best friend, Don Shavers. Um, we were, you know, I was in um, still teaching at the time, and I was always being called to be a guest artist at other people's studio. Mm -hmm. And so she told me, she said, "Tammy, open up your own studio. You can do it." And um, she kept telling me how I worked at a studio when I was in college. And she said, "Why not open up your own studio?" And I said, "Hmm, that's a good idea, you know." And then I um, I made some phone calls. I called the church because, you know, buildings were too expensive. Them. So back again, once again, once my mom told me, go to a church and see if you can rent out their basement. And I did and I opened up Booth Dance Academy um, in 2004. And we are still thriving. It's a real small studio, but I'm thriving. Um, my ages at the studio are from four to 22. Mm. And our main focus, we're really strong in modern dance and tap dance. And I've had it ever since then. And I, I love it. And my thing is, you do praise dance at, at the academy. So talk yes, uh -huh. well, well, yeah, a lot of people call it praise dance, but to me, it's just it's modern dance to gospel music. You know, because um, you know, a lot of times when I see praise dance, you know, you think of you know, um, you know, um, what well, with, with modern, you, you you're still doing your technique, grandpa, my time do, please, you're still doing that in, uh, in in your dance, and I just do that to gospel music, and I really, really have a strong faith in God, and I always tell my dancers, um, because always when they first come to my dance school, I let them know what they have a problem because I do do. Um, you know, a religion, some, uh, you know, um, gospel, gospel music, religion. And if I have a problem with that, um, you know, because in my studio, we'll do that. And I've been doing it ever since. And I always tell my students, whenever you do a dance, you praise God. And luckily, all, all of my students, you know, are, you know, believe in God. So that, which is a plus too. And I strongly, uh, I always do a gospel dance, always do a gospel dance. And we do a variety, but I'm really strong with the gospel too. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm loving this. So my thing is, you don't call it a Christian academy. It's a a school a, a academy for both 
dance and for my and for Christian dance because it's right, right. It's it's. I'm, I always tell people it's Booth Dance Academy, and I serve the Lord. You know, and I'm I do a gospel Amen. dance. I'm praising Him. I'm praising. I'm praising Him. Right. So, so you um, and, and the way you answer the question because mm -hmm. you know I praise dance. You're focusing on technique, which is important. Yes. Yes. And the yes, scripture yes. and the scripture. You you're praying. Yes. You praying. So you combine both of them in two entities, right? So Absolutely. my. Question, so that's that's good because a lot of praise dancers don't have the technique down. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I try to stress to people when they say you're a praise dancer. And I said, well, I praise the Lord when I dance through my technique. That I, you know. And see, that's amazing. That right there, that is amazing, uh, Tammy, because they, yes. um, you know, <clears throat> you letting them know we're praying, we're worshiping God through movement. But at the same time, my focus not only is the Lord is the head of my life, but the focus right. also is technique. There you go. Yes. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, yes. So my thing, and my thing is, where's the academy located at? Oh, we're in the beautiful city of Harper Woods, Michigan, um, right down the street from where Eastland Mall used to be at. They just tore Eastland Mall down about a week ago. So it's Harper Woods, Michigan. We're directly next door to uh, Chase Bank, and we're located inside of the Redeemer United Methodist Church. Yeah, I'm not a member there, but I use their facility. So their basement is a big, pretty basement, and that's my studio. And I've been there since and at that location since 2009. And okay. that's where I'll stay. Yeah, that's where I'll stay. Yeah, so I'm blessed to be there. Yes. So do you have two locations or it's just located in a church? Uh, it's located in church. That's where my dance school is lo located at. Okay, um, got you. United, United, United Methodist Church. The basement is my studio. Got you, got you. See, that's a blessing when the church opens up the doors to give yes. you a studio. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I'm happy. I'm ha so happy for that. Yes. So we talked, we talked about the Christian values and as a teacher, let's talk about you being a teacher for the Detroit Public Board of Education. What is the most important element of dance for you? When you look up, look at dance, what is the most important element to you when it comes well, to with, dance? With, with the school board, the technique. I let them know that twerking and shaking and popping is filth and trash. And I tell them, I did not get my degree twerking. And I said, no one wants to see a young lady do that. Your body is supposed to be respected with dignity and pride and self-respect. And I let them know what dance is and what it is not. And I always have to stress that. If I'm, I tell the girls, if I'm called to dance at a church, a wedding, no one wants to see me twerking. They want to see a classical dance, modern dance. And I'm with dignity. And I also, I'm at a, um, I'm at a Detroit um, public school is a alternative school so a lot of them have never had dance at all and they just think what they see on the videos unfortunately the you know the ranchy rough type of videos and i let them know um how we dress as a dancer we use proper dance clothes that's covered up nothing is hanging out and things like that and our hair pulled back in a bun makeup on proper undergarments uh tights things like like that no jewelry things like that and so the whole aspects of dance through dignity pride and self-respect and technique, as well. and technique as well. So I also kick, take the girls, um, my students, I have boys and girls, but main, mainly girls, we go to dance concerts. We see professional dance concerts. We'll, we, um, at my school, we do performances. You know, when we invite people in, our performances are, are at night. And I let them know music, when we do we dance to music, everything is, is of respect, not disrespect. No one is saying anything filthy or trashy. So and I let them know that the whole aspect of dance is with respect and respecting your body as well through dignity and uh, character and technique. Amen. So that's it right there. Yes. That's it. That's powerful. That's more oh, than yes. enough. That's yes, more than enough. And my thing is, go right, ahead. Especially with that twerking and things like that. I said, that's not respectful dance for anyone to do, you know, and a young lady, because she not care herself in that matter, you know, and I told him I dance all my life, but with respect in concerts and shows, recitals, and people want to see the classical technique of dance, not not the filth of it. Amen. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's that not only are you a dance instructor, but mm -hmm. you are a mentor to the these young women and men at your Thank academy. You. you you're leaving yes. them a residue of respect. Because when yes. they look at some of these videos, Lord Jesus. Oh my know, God. We ain't gonna name some of them. They be naked. I I don't think the women know yes. to put on clothes. And then they right. get their breasts enlarged and they they add to their buttocks and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they get their buttocks shocked. 
but they call mm -hmm. them pre-shots. But it's it's right. amazing to me, and right. how they want to they look a certain way mm -hmm. and not care. But this your academy, the Booth Academy, is right. your teacher. You're teaching for the school system, and you have your own studio. It means a lot because you're teaching values. Yes. And try to, and I always tell my students, especially my girls, you don't try to enhance your breasts and buttocks. You enhance your mind, and, and uh, enhance your ability, enhance your strength, enhance your inner, inner being, your self esteem, your self awareness, your self worth, and your self value. You enhance the work on that, and that's what makes you a young lady doing what you love. Like I tell them, that's what makes me a young lady doing what I do, do when I love the most. Enhance it with this pride. Come on. And nothing more, nothing more than that. And pride and respect. Hallelujah, Lord. And that's that's amazing. In closing, because I really enjoyed this interview in the name of Jesus. It really touched home for me. In closing, Thanks. give us an inspirational message for dance majors around the world. Oh, absolutely. Whatever you do, first of all, get your degree. <laughs> get your degree. You don't agree. And never do anything to disrespect yourself. Ha. With technology now, whatever you do will always come back to haunt you. Don't ever underestimate yourself. Don't do anything that'll come back on you and scar you. And when I say scar you, I mean it's something you're embarrassed of. You know, if someone wants you to do a video, you don't want to do it. You know it's not of your taste or your caliber, don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say no and stay firm in that no. You know, and to build yourself. And I always tell my students this too. Um, as a teacher, um, I do this too. I'm, I'm always going to have a student that can't afford dance classes, that can't afford this and can't afford that. And I just say, spiritually, you can help them to dance. You know, like talk to the parent and just give a child the gift of dance. And I tell people too, if you can't take a dance class, sponsor it. Someone can sponsor sponsor a child to dance. Help a child to dance. Give them a scholarship to dance at your school. You know, and just let them know they can do it push them and encourage them and most of all help them and teach your students right from wrong and just keep at it keep with it don't stop and do not stop helping the children with their arts um you know you can buy a, a child a dance clothes and dance clothes pay for them to go to a, a dance studio it's just going to be a blessing behind it a true blessing behind it amen this was help 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 yes oh my god Thank you for being our guest today, Tammy. And thank you for having me, Estelle. It's so good yeah. to see you. Good yes, you too. And may God continue to bless your ministry. I remember you way back at Mary Grove College back in the day. And I don't know if you remember now, but I remember when we performed in one of your events at the Sarah Samaritan uh, Hospital. Yes. More than justice for God. Yes. Yes, the yes, Samaritan Hospital how we enjoyed that and everything. I really enjoyed that too. And you've been a blessing your ministry. I'm happy to see your ministry going and um, God bless you with that. And may he continue to keep you and just blessings upon blessings. Amen. And yes, you, I caught one thing. I thank you for your yes, because when I, um, when Portage Justice for God ministry first started, yes. you know, he was calling on because we worship through the performing arts. And mm -hmm. my thing is, and how it went to the next level with bringing in speakers and evangelists, and it turned into a full fledged ministry where it it's a platform from teaching and, you know, whole nine yards. So I remember I called on you, and you was like, yes. And I was so yes. excited. And the kids mm -hmm. enjoyed themselves. And, and just like you said, we was taping the Port of Justice for God show at the hospital, Mercy Hospital, where I used to work. It it turned into a business aspect, the hospital calls, in their basement. Right. I love God because when you're obedient to what he's saying, and, and my thing is how we redecorated the cafeteria to tape the mm -hmm. show. People didn't know we was in a cafeteria. They had no right. idea. So we right. had to, you know, do do some rearranging of furniture and making it look like it's a studio where we taping live out of. And it was a blessing. It was and a you blessing. did it too. And, yeah. And you did it. I had and some you help. Did it. I had and some you help. Did it. Yeah, and you did, and it was wonderful too. It was wonderful. And then we went from the cafeteria from renting out different churches. We was mm -hmm. we rented out the African um the African American Museum a couple of times. So okay. it's just been a blessing. It's been a blessing yes. how God has elevated ministry. Mm -hmm. And I thank him for every ministry he placed in my belly. Because the Nicole One show is basically dealing with entrepreneurs, Christian values, and inspirational artists that wants to, to get their gifts out. Amen. And so Amen. it's an honor to have you 
as a dance instructor, a dance teacher, and how you brought that um, combination of both, you know, teaching in the public schools and teaching in your academy, and the, you know, how you value Christian values. It was a, truly, truly a blessing. Thank so, you so much. Well, thank you so much, um, Tammy. It was just a blessing to have you. I enjoyed this interview because it got personal. Thinking Thank about you. Mary Grove. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. And, you know, prayers to your studio. I mean, to your your ministry and prayers to my studio. And I hope we can just keep afloat, you know, with the way the world is going now. And, yes. oh, just teaching children right from wrong and to continue oh. to do right. No matter who's doing wrong, you push for right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to close with a prayer, always close with a prayer. And before I close with a prayer, I want you to subscribe to the Me Call One Show. We have a podcast. It's on iHeart, Spotify, Stitchers, Pandora. I think I mentioned all of them. All, everywhere what podcasting is doing, the Me Call One Show is there. Then subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hallelujah. And the, it's called the Me Call One Show. Amen. So Amen. closing with prayer. Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we just say thank you, Father God. We thank yes. you yet, the mighty woman of God, Tammy, that you ordained her to be a teacher among the people. Increase her resources, Father God. Increase her mind, body, and spirit, Father God, as she continue to stay connected with you, Father God. Bless her finances. Bless her school, Father God. Increase her teaching abilities, Father God, by the blood and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Father Father God, we thank you, Father God, in advance for victory. We're calling on scholarships, Father God, because yes. it was spoken that the children can't afford it, Father God. We ask them that you increase the resources in the school, Father God, the academy, Father God, where people yes. will donate to a fund where she can have resources that every child will be encouraged and inspired through dance, but she teaching them Christian values. Hey, in the main, mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you for relationships, the divine connection that connected us years ago through the Mary Grove classes, Father God, the yes. teachings, Father God. We ask in these many blessings by the blood and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah and amen. 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 amen.